<laughs> Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Partly sunny today. Mild 68 the high. 53 downtown GR. Tickets for the Free Bear and Outwigs live show goes down. That show will be November 22nd at the intersection. They go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm so stoked. Uh, that show at the intersection is so much fun. Yeah. With that uh, giant uh, yeah. screen. Yeah. They do yeah, a great that's job really awesome the game. now that that's there. Yeah. yeah. It is. Breakfast, everything else. All the details, WGRD.com. Chippewa, former general manager of the Buffalo Destroyers, and from the NFL and Fox. Now, things, ESPN yeah. analyst, Buffalo Bill. I'm just trying to change it up a little bit. Mr. Ray Bentley, brought to you by our friends at The Score, the best place to grab a beer, watch football in all of West Michigan. Hi, Ray. Hey, good morning from Jonesboro, Arkansas. What a lovely town. Oh, wow. boy. Oh, my Jonesboro, gosh. Okay. Okay. The, uh... okay. Who's in Jonesboro? Well, I got uh, Arkansas State playing host to Louisiana tonight on ESPNU at 7:30. Nice. So, yeah, did- you know what? It's a uh, these two teams don't like each other. That you know, all those cliches. It's true. I can't wait. This could oh, be a good one. Yeah, that's kind of right up your alley. Yeah, we might see yeah. a Ray Bentley type of fight with a uh, <laughs> with a t- an opposing uh, team it'll member. It'll be actually a close uh, a close fight, not a Ray Bentley type fight. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. Uh, is that that's the Sun Belt game, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, and then do you have a game Saturday too? I do not. No, uh, I'm all of a sudden the Thursday night guy here for the last couple of weeks. We'll see what happens down the road, but God only knows. I mean, I you probably know this guy. I, I don't have any clue as to what they're going to do with me next, and they keep me guessing pretty good. So that's we'll a, see. That's a weird situation where because because I think most that's kind of the case for most uh, most or all of the ESPN announcers right you're you know your assignment assignment like two weeks in advance not even they they like to keep us guessing i think it's a form of mind control really wow <laughs> um usually they go with what we call a six-day pick so we won't know on sunday until or until sunday where we go the following saturday um so oh, well they, yeah they they got us on a string over here it's because they don't want right. you running when they tell you you have to go to bf arkansas yeah <laughs> That's why right. they do it. <laughs> it's yeah. the same yeah. way that recently. I won't won- go if I have too much time. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, we don't want to give Ray too much time. He's got to be tethered. It's like that time the carny worker told us that in some carnivals, they don't tell people where they're going next until they get there because they're afraid they'll make plans to escape. That can't be true. <laughs> I believe you don't think oh, it can. Yeah. It yeah, has yeah, been You true. don't want to give too much heads up. Otherwise, yeah, somebody's going to have a yeah, running it's, Uber way. mind control, though. They yeah. used to do it when we played football. They would always, they wouldn't give you but a day or two out in terms of the schedule. Ugh. So that, you know, they don't want you making any plans, you know. Now, Ray, I know, I, I, I at least I would expect, you would know the answer, but I want to see if uh, football experts in our room can answer this oh, question. Man. Oh, yeah. Michigan no State problem. and Indiana is a long-term rivalry. They play for a rivalry trophy. I think the Big Ten has the most rivalry trophies. What is the rivalry trophy that Michigan and Michigan State and Indiana will contest on Saturday? Who wants to go first? Uh, I guess I will. Joe? Uh, the l- big black jug. The big ah. black jug. Mm. <laughs> uh if no one gets it, we'll go closest. The, you say it's the, little brown the, jug. The uh, uh, agricultural myself. cup. <laughs> the agricultural <laughs> cup. Yeah. Steve, uh, uh, who's this, this, good this answer. Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State and Indiana. Oh, boy, I think Hot Wings was on the right path. Uh, the, the, the big open field bowl cup. <laughs> no. Ray? <laughs> you want to know? I know, but go ahead. It's, you, you do is it an animal? My heart. It's it's the old spittoon. The old brass oh. spittoon. Oh, that I've seems heard of so that. Texas. <laughs> where'd they, where where did they get the old old spittoon? Uh, How'd that become a trophy? A fan uh, in 1950. It has been awarded to the winning team ever since then. First presented in 1950, started by the class president, Eugene McDermott. That is a 1950 name if I ever heard yeah, of it. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, yeah. From Allentown, Pennsylvania. 
presented it to the winning team, and it's been contested ever since then. Oh, boy, that sounds like the kind of a guy who would drink out of the spittoon. <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> what a great prize, though. I wonder wash if... Wash it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, that's barely below Stanley Cup. Do you can, think that's Can a... you imagine what has been in that spittoon over the years? <laughs> oh, and I'll oh, bet yep. people have had, like, the like a freshman or something has had to drink out of it. Oh, you know that's <laughs> true. Oh. Everybody spits into it, a little tobacco juice. Hopefully tobacco and then, juice. And then they make Scott <laughs> drink it. Uh, All Scots. Right. CMU, they, the <laughs> rivalry with Western has been strong for a long, long time. But right. uh, they didn't add a rivalry trophy until just a couple of years ago. The yeah, what is it, trophy. some stupid cannon or something? <laughs> that doesn't seem like a – you can't do what? that now. Yeah, it has why to the come hell before. would we want to fight them for a cannon? Yeah, I Nobody like, uses them anymore. Yeah, I oh, feel yeah, like both you, schools fire a cannon when they uh, score a touchdown. Oh, uh, well, it makes perfect sense, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you might as well make it a field goal kicker. Yeah, but both they, teams uh, drive uh, an extra but point. But a lot of schools do that. Uh, it's not like it's those two and no. uniquely have cannons. Plus, you can't really. Because don't they do that at Central and Western too? Don't they have? Aren't there cannons aimed at the fields? That's literally what we're talking. Oh, about. Oh, I thought uh-huh. you said state. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh-uh. I thought you. No, said state that. is the yeah. spittoon. Hot Wings is on a hot roll too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, between Joe and Hot Wings today, you guys we are, are stupid. We are, we are going. Uh, yeah. In yes, I'm feeling pretty uh, pretty smart today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's uh, yeah, that's most of it. Yeah, I just uh, stay up too late so that I can make Ray feel smart. I forgot. I I wish that was the case. That's not the case, though. You're just smarter than me. Yeah. I'm a dummy. Uh, You're better looking, though. A little unathletic dummy. Ray, who wins the brass brass spittoon this week? Oh, I think Sparty's a pretty good football team. You will Uh, never not say that. Yeah, Yeah, I know, right? But I'm serious. (laughs) (laughs) But you mean it. Uh, I know. That's that's the sad part is I actually (laughs) believe my own line here. What about? Yeah, they'll they'll take care of him. But um, I think the Michigan Penn State game is going to be an eye opener. In what sense? I think Michigan's going to rail them again. They beat them forty nine to ten last year. The, the way these two teams match up, Penn State hadn't played anybody. Uh, you know, I mean, their best win, I guess, would be a 21-19 late game they stole from Iowa. Otherwise, you know, they're beating up on the Akrons of the world and whatnot. So they haven't really played a good football team yet. And the way Michigan just fit, they fit in, it's like hand and glove. They, they just fit nicely against Penn State. They're going to slam them. I, I, I got Michigan running, going away, and then we'll have to hear all that crap for another week. I did, of- I did see some art. I don't know which sports writer it was, but wrote an article about it said uh, John O'Corn is made to play Penn State. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't, I, now, I don't know if what? I would have gone that. Yeah, I mean, I assume in like table tennis. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but uh, that knows? might be taking it a little too yeah. far, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But when you're, you're right, Ray, when you, when you look at that Penn State schedule, I had their game against Pittsburgh and, and the Iowa game, and Iowa's, you know, pretty middle of the road team. And they gave Penn State everything they could handle that night. Right. And that's the, the best thing, team. You're right. That's the best team. That, Pitt was terrible, and, and that game was w- within 10 points in the late, early in the fourth quarter. What type of- right. The, the only thing that doesn't fit my uh, my facts well is the fact that they spanked Indiana, what, 45 to 14. But we're not, we're not, that's an outlier. We're yeah. not going to count that. Anything can happen. What type of body fluid collector are they playing for? There's no uh, <laughs> body fluid collector in no. this. Um, I do have a list of the Big Ten uh, trophies, though, that they play for. Yeah, the Big Ten loves their trophies. Ray, do you know them all? I know a couple of them. I know the Little Brown Jug. I I know the uh, Paul Bunyan. um, And uh, there's, uh, of course, our friend, the the Brass Platoon. Yeah. Okay, Paul Paul Bunyan, is that Michigan and Ohio? Nope. Is that Little Brown Jug? Nope. No, that's uh, Michigan, Minnesota. What the hell? That's Michigan, Minnesota. I know that. Is Paul Bunyan, Michigan, Wisconsin? Michigan State. Michigan State. Okay. Uh, Paul Bunyan's axe is Paul Bunyan's axe is Minnesota, Wisconsin. The Paul Bunyan Trophy is Michigan, Michigan State. Really love uh, Paul, uh, Paul Bunyan. Okay. Michigan, yeah, all right. Yeah, now we got Paul Bunyan. Oh. All right. Here's the here's we got the, the more good challenging ones, ones out of the way. A lot of them have been added in the last couple of years as teams have joined the conference. Oh, oh yeah. That's well, well, not we gotta, fair. We got to create that's, a rivalry. Everybody plays, loves Rutgers. Who plays for create the tradition? Who plays for the land grant trophy? 
That is the what is the that? What does it look Grant like? Trophy. What do you make that? And and uh, boy, that so, that sounds like it should be Oklahoma, Louisiana. It uh, is Michigan State, Penn State, Penn State. Two of the early, uh, maybe the two earliest land grant colleges oh. established. That is mm. so boring. That yeah, is all right. How about yeah. so land boring? Grant. Ray, who they need plays? To tear that one down. Who plays for the Freedom Trophy? Yep, that's you, Ray. You know this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah. I have no uh, idea. What do you mean? It's Nebraska and Wisconsin. They've battled for it every year oh, for four years. Clearly. God, I would have for said four something years like now? It's pretty oh. close to that. Oh. I believe I was at the first game where they had that trophy. That's a th- the freedom. Yeah, I would what have at honor. least guessed yes. it like, yes. Rutger, <laughs> like Rutgers and Maryland or something, you know, that are... All you right, know, you like can't more colonial state. I'm looking at that. You can't drink anything out of it, but that would fit in someone. <laughs> yeah, right. oh, I yeah, assume all these trophies yeah, yeah, are you can made definitely sit on it to, to make people miserable in some way. So so they're all meant for hazing. <laughs> <We're> talking... <laughs> Do I hear a volunteer? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, right. No, Try to stop no, him. No, thank you. Uh, the governor's victory bell is contested between Minnesota and Penn State. Iowa and Nebraska play for the Heroes Trophy. Now, this one actually is old. Floyd of Rosedale. Uh, right. Floyd, Floyd, the He's Floyd a, of Rosedale. Right? That is a pig battled for between Iowa and Minnesota. Joe, this well, one you can important. get. Okay. Uh, okay. The Illibuck. Well, I'm going to guess that's between. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Uh, Illinois <laughs> and Ohio State. You did it, Joe. Yes. And uh, Buckminster. <laughs> How did you do it? Who plays for the Purdue Cannon? Uh, Purdue and Northwestern. No. Purdue and it's, it's got to be either no, Central, Central Michigan, Michigan University. Western, right? No, it's Purdue and Illinois. I wish Purdue wasn't on there. On I there, know though. if it was Northwestern like... and Indiana. <laughs> 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 All right, this I, I've I the other ones I've heard of. This one I've literally never heard of. I don't know when it started. The five dollar bits of broken chair trophy. Shut up. That whole okay. thing is uh, one on. thing. One's got to be Indiana because they stole the chair from uh, Bobby Knight. No oh, doubt. that's a good idea. And then the other a good one idea. Is, yeah, uh, a good thing. Yeah, let's, see, yes. uh, let's see. Who doesn't ever get talked about? Oh, Northwestern. In my words. Indiana Northwestern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. I'm going with him on that guess. That's a dumb-looking trophy, too. Who wants that? <laughs> is the point to make the, the team lose the game because they don't want to drag that thing back? No, man. I got to tell you, from experience, those trophies mean so much to the players. They give everything they have. To no, Ray, but that, I get but the that, old that ones and the like good a, ones. Like the little brown jug is something that's perfect. <laughs> no, to ho- it, it like that's matter. great you, to hoist over your head. You, uh, could, this you, could one. Put, you could put the little brown plastic turd up there and we'd go crazy trying to win it. It matters, oh, right? You, Isn't that you, weird? You athletes are so simple. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Bentley with us, brought to you by the score. The most tap beers, most beers on tap in all of West Michigan. All right, the five dollar bits of broken chair trophy goes all the way back to November of 2014. Wow! So oh. I mean, and that's it's like... rooted in the Twitter accounts for Minnesota mascot Goldie Gopher and Fo Pelini, a parody account of then Nebraska coach Bo Pelini. Goldie suggested a wager on the game with this tweet: "Hey at Fo Pelini." Again, not associated with Nebraska. How about a friendly wager for this weekend's game? Team that gets the most points gets a conference win. Seem fair? Fo Pelini responded, okay, how about if we, Nebraska wins, you give me $5, and if Minnesota wins, I get to smash a wooden chair over your back. That prompted Goldie to start crowdsourcing Twitter followers and Reddit's college football community designed the $5 bits of broken chair trophy. Eventually, they settled on one, and then they started using it. Uh, the trophy seemingly disappeared in 2016. Inquiries into the Nebraska and Minnesota Athletic Departments revealed that neither school formally recognized the trophy in the first place. That ended the bits of broken uh, chair uh, trophy. Both oh, schools oh, major capacity. Dang it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, claimed to be the ones who threw it away, ending I, the dumbest no, no. bet and trophy in history. Oh, On September 12th of this year, it was announced via Twitter that Nebraska and Minnesota will once again play for the $5 bits of broken chair, likely as an unofficial game trophy. And everyone went, what? Everyone went, God dang it, <laughs> man. We kept hoping about? for a good thing. But people are going, was... they're going to use it as a as the focal point for fundraisers for Nebraska's Team Jack Foundation and Minnesota's Ooh, Masonic Children's Hospital. That is for a little boy named Jack. 
Oh. Before you continue in what I know oh. you're yeah. wrapping up for. That's <laughs> not the Jackie Fox. The image I actually of... thought I wanted to play a sport for a second. <laughs> yeah, before you go off on Jack. Well, you, better, uh, you've already played as an intramural <laughs> for just for uh, fun. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, Ray, you yes, think Michigan sir. beats Penn State? I do. Spartans win against Indiana. Always. Are the All right. Now, you have said the Lions were a good team. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry about that. How do you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was, what, what, what happened? I on was getting Sunday? <clears throat> hate tweets well, at just, me on your behalf on Sunday. Yeah, they're not uh, a good NFC South team. They, they're zero and three against the NFC South. Yeah. Everyone else they beat. Yeah. So as long as they can get out of that division, they're going to be fine. It, the whole NFL is is chaos this year. Yeah. Honestly, I, you look at it. I couldn't tell you who. You know, at this point. You got two five and one teams, and uh, the Eagles and the Chiefs, and I'm not overly impressed and, and scared of either of them. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's going to be a few more weeks yet, I think, before we figure it out. Why but is the there, Lions will, will rise? Why is their offensive line so terrible? I, I don't know. To me, I don't think Swanson's an NFL caliber player at center. The center, okay, and, and that's where it starts. That that's that's a problem, man, and and. They keep tr- trying them, but to me, that's the issue. And then, it, and losing uh, Taylor Lewan or whatever the hell his name was, who is the uh, left tackle? I always get him confused. It's not, it's not Taylor, Taylor Lewan. I can't think of it at but, this moment. Uh, the other yeah. big, scary the, looking the Ohio dude. State kid. Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, losing him really hurt. Taylor Decker. Decker. Yeah, I yeah. knew it was some kind of Taylor. Yeah. But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, James Taylor. They, uh, yeah. They're that so weird. Good, I, they, they frustrate me because they go out and, and they look great on, on them late drives. Yeah. Why can't you do that in the beginning? It yeah, just don't make any sense. It looks like the other team knows what they're doing all the time. When you watch them play, do you know what they're about to do? Yeah, they're pretty predictable. Um, and I think that they're getting out coached initially, but they're they're really good at making in-game adjustments. So, you know, yeah. they drive you crazy. Have you ever um, – like, are there other teams in the NFL you look at that are as predictable as the Lions? Yeah, unfortunately, it's the Buffalo Bills. Oh yeah, my uh, my other team that I pull for, and they're they're about as in well, fact they're worse. You uh, I would love to watch them play, watch the Bills and Lions play, and give me a, a dollar for every pre- uh, play I predict, and I'll be a happy man. Yeah, man, you are an albatross of fandom. I know Bills, <laughs> Lions, <laughs> Michigan <terrible>. State. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the oh, things you. I love. know, right? No kidding. <laughs> Well, God enjoy, don't like me. <laughs> enjoy Arkansas, Ray. Good to talk to you as always. Likewise, fellas. Have a great one. Yeah, right you too, man. Ray. See ya. See ya. Steve, do we have the information you were searching for cleared up? Can we mention anything or do we want to wait till tomorrow? Don't really have it yet. We'll wait till tomorrow. Tickets go on sale for the Free Bear Not Wings live show November 22nd at the intersection, the morning show. Ooh. We want you to be there. They go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Steve. Uh, we can actually, uh, well, there's a discrepancy in the time that I will be there. So why don't we just mention the times that, for a fact, according to both, I will be there. Beware. Between 5 and 6.30. Yes. It could be as early as 4.30 and as late as 7. I like that. Okay. Where? So go there at 4.30 and stay until 7. Yeah. You yeah. can join Steve and GRD. Chances to sign up to win the ultimate hunting package. This is awesome. Uh, a custom quad from Impact Power Sports, a hunting blind from KL Outdoor, a $200 Visa gift card from Dan Pfeiffer. You stock up on whatever you need as hunting season nears. Steve will be at Main Street Pub in Allendale. Okay. And as we said, oh, nice. either 4.30 to 6.30 or 5 to 7. Yeah. You'll get the hangout, check out the quad, <laughs> check out the hunting blind, and win cool GRD goodies. Steve will be in the blind lurking. Mm. Yeah, join him there. Yeah. And he's going to roll in buck jam. That's going to be cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and stump like, liquor. Yeah, like any good oh. hunter would do. Uh, that drawing will be uh, eventually on November 11th. Someone will win the ultimate hunting package from GRD. All the yeah. details at WGRD.com. There's a series of like five different events over the next couple of weeks where you'll be able to come out and get signed up for the uh, for that prize. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. All right. Okay. It's Metallica. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you. It's 97.9 GRD Rocks.